So you aren't going to believe me this game, but, uh, you know, Ronnie, Ronnie Lott's really good. Just trust me, you're not going to see much of him in this game because he never gets thrown at. But, he's fantastic. Great game, though. So, we got the new 99 overall on Ronnie Lott. I was going to post this video yesterday, uh, but, like I said, internet, non-existent, the past, like, day and a half. Had to make it today, had to do this voice recording today, all this good stuff that, you know, is usually in the videos. So, we got new 99 overall Ronnie Lott. We got the new Calvin Johnson free safety as well, so, I mean, that, d that doesn't really matter. You're here for Ronnie Lott. Everyone knows Calvin Johnson is going to be amazing, but is Ronnie Lott going to be amazing? But yeah, so the other day I just went to the set, I, I made him, uh, it, I don't know if it was a good decision, he was like 700 or 800,000 coins. I think personally, since I have a bunch of coins in this game, that he's worth it, but uh, you know, to someone who's like starving for coins, you're obviously not going to want to sell your whole team just to get this single card. I mean, obviously a beast, compare him to Ray, uh, Calvin Johnson right there, and I mean, they compare pretty favorably, considering that's a golden ticket, it's pretty nice to see that they have similar stats, uh, but other than that, he's a monster, like, this guy forces a lot of fumbles, he's gotten more picks from me than fumbles, but he covers very well, you'll see that in the video, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. You guys are going to notice a serious trend here. I'm literally always playing Blackhawk1511, at least for my uh, reviews and stuff, and that's because that's just my friend. He always wants to play against me, and we just play against each other a lot, so I'm usually recording my name's gameplays when I do those reviews just because I get the most gameplay out of it, and uh, yeah. But anyways, right there, second 19, throws a dot. Of course, it's overriding lot. Like, of course, but right there, you know, throws the ball away. He punts it. We get the ball, second eight here with Lamar Jackson. We throw it up over the middle of the field and it gets punched and launched into orbit. Third and eight there, we hit Gronk, throw a dot to him uh, on the 40 yard line here and it is second and 10. We're gonna roll out with Lamar Jackson. We spin and it gets us like an extra like five yards. Best quarterback in the game, I'm gonna say that all day long. Throw up there over the middle and we come down with it on the 18 yard line. End of the first quarter here and we roll out again with Lamar Jackson. We try and get to the end zone, but he just kind of falls. I don't know. Throw it up there. Gronk at the back of the end zone and that's going to be a touchdown. We're going to take the lead right there. First and 10 here, user and Calvin Johnson. He goes to the slip screen and gets stuffed at the 23. Right there, DRC was looking at the crowd, so obviously you didn't see that a guy was getting a ball thrown to him. Uh, he's driving up the field pretty easily, though. Pretty easily. Much easier than he usually does against the uh, the God Squad here. First and ten here after he picks up that, and Ronnie Lott bats the ball away. That's going to be a second and ten. He runs the ball with Barry Sanders, and I don't know. There was no run defense whatsoever. First and ten for me here, and we're looking to throw the ball again. But, uh, you know, we get sacked by Julius Peppers and his 54-inch hands. Right here, second and 13, we hit our receiver for the first down, just barely. We had, to, we had to get between, like, 22 guys. Right up the middle there to Antonio Brown. He's going to come down with it on the 37, first and 10 for us here. And we throw over the middle again. <laughs> it gets picked off. Bobby Wagner. This is where things really started to go wrong for me here. Uh, end of the first half, and he just starts going down the field with no, just just with complete ease. He just starts hitting passes all over the place. Barry Sanders is getting spec catches. You know, it, things are just going bad. So he ends the first half with the lead, scoring 10 points unanswered. Second half here, we start with the ball. It's going to be first and 10, and we hit Tony Gonzalez for the first down. Second and one here, we roll out with Lamar Jackson. We're trying to get the first down and we get the block and then we spin and we get an extra five yards. First and 10, we're rolling out again with Lamar Jackson and we're gonna get a bunch of blocks. Like seriously, he's, he's just so good. Guys, like just get him. Look at him, he can throw dots, he can run anywhere he wants. Right here, um, can't run there, can he? Anyways, we missed the field goal because of course I missed the field goal. And he has the ball, we're usering. Bobby Wagner there, and he just barely gets it past me. Almost to the end of the third quarter here, and he throws it up, and DRC, the best cornerback in the game, other than Randy Moss, gets an incredible interception, but somehow we're down three, so we're just gonna start running it with David Johnson. He throws a guy off of him and then carries two other, no, three other guys for almost the first down. Just gonna keep running it with him on this drive. First and 10, we hit Antonio Brown up the middle, and geez Louise, I literally screamed on that play. That's what you gotta understand. We get the sack there, but I literally screamed. 
Another sack here, and it's going to be third and 25. He throws it over the top, and he does not come down with it. He punts it to us. We have the ball. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. We hit Gronk, and we're on his side of the field. We hit Gronk one more time and get almost another first down. Third and two here. We roll out with Lamar Jackson. We do a spin, and we get taken down at the 14. First and 10 again. We're scrambling around trying to find a lane to run to. And with Lamar Jackson, he almost gets the end zone, but we're on the one yard line. Next play here, throw it up to Calvin Johnson. And that's going to give us a 17 to 10 lead. First and 10 for him here after we get the touchdown. And he throws a slip screen to Barry Sanders. He's got all the blocks. He jukes and bam, Bobby Wagner gets the fumble recovery. So I'm I'm thinking, dang, the game's over. I may as well throw it up and score some extra points on him right here. I'm rolling out of the pocket. I'm about to throw a touchdown. I'm going to sling the rock and uh, <sighs> just a moment of silence, please. So now I'm panicking. I'm I'm thinking we got to be clutch here. The game is tied. There's only 40 seconds left. I've got to drive downfield and get a touchdown. We're slinging the rock all over the place. We're getting first downs. We're hitting everybody all across the middle. Gronk keeps getting wide open, and so does Julio Jones. We're on the 30 almost, and we're going to throw it again. We're going to throw it up, and Julio Jones gets a touchdown, and we win the game just barely, just barely. Overall, did Ronnie Lott make any plays that game? Not really. He batted a ball out of a guy's hand, but I mean, my grandma could do that, so it's not really that impressive considering he's a 99 overall strong safety. But what I can tell you is that he's probably one of the best safeties I've used in the game so far this year. I'd say number one is Calvin Johnson, mainly just for usering's sake. Uh, number two would be Eric Berry, and then I'd say number three is Ronnie Lott. So those are my top three safeties in the game. Maybe I should start doing top fives. Comment down below if you guys think I should do st top five players I've used. Anyways, that's Ronnie Lott. Absolute beast. Not worth 800k unless you've got a massive coin stack and you just don't really care. Or if you're a Niners fan, something like that. Either way, great card. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next upload. God Squad soon. Peace.